I've got three fabulous female artists that I'm going to introduce you to in this segment. And first is Marcia. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Hi, thank you for having me. Uh, it is always delightful to see you and to meet you and the work that you do. I have to tell you, I've admired your work from afar. Uh, both my niece and I, uh, these are gifts that are often exchanged between us. Uh, talk, me, talk me through your bead work. Um, I use uh, historic trade beads, uh, mostly beads that are pre-1900 that were traded um, from our First Nations um, people and um, traded throughout throughout the world, but mostly um, Canadian beads. So there's a story to these Absolutely. beads, which is so great. Right, yeah, there's a story. These beads are called Red White Hearts, and they're the same beads that our Hudson Bay Company used as their trading commodity. Uh, they would have traded a six-foot strand of these beads for one fur pelt, and... Uh. In, in today's standards, um, inflation has kept up with the <laughs> with the, um, the trade value. Quite right, and of course, I want to uh, show our viewers uh, this particular piece, which is stunning. And obviously, there's some bigger beads too that have some meaning. Yeah, the um, the black beads are, are Maasai beads. Um, I've got some Venetian trade beads and some old Melon Chevron beads in here. So this is more um, sort of beads that were traded throughout the world. Incredible. Thank you. It's wonderful work. Again, it's the gift that just keeps on giving because you stare at your wrist, your necklace, you think, what does this mean? You find out it comes with a story. Uh, switching mediums, though, that's one of the best things about the Alberta Craft Council is that, again, it is the celebration of craft. Uh, Loretta, your work is stunning. You are a, a carver. Thank you. Yeah, I sculpt stone. Yeah. You sculpt stone. What is the stone that you work in? Um, I work in soapstone, chlorite, um, perophyllite, and kesey stone. Kesey stone. You have these incredibly, um, uh, like, to, to look at the sort of lines that you get, these beautiful lines, uh, to think that it's coming from stone. I know that the, there's different degrees of difficulty in carving. Let's talk about the black chloride, actually, um, or the piece that Rich is showing right now. What stone is this? That's perophyllite, yes. Perophyllite. It's a fine-grained sedimentary. It's three times harder than soapstone, so I, I like it. it it, uh, you can really make fine lines and fine detail and sharp, sharp edges. And I know that chlorate is actually very difficult to carve, and the lines you're able to get out of that is amazing. Yeah, it's also three times harder than soapstone, and it, it, I like the way chlorate looks more like flesh, and uh, it doesn't show so much in the birds, but in the uh, animals that I make, it's, uh, it's really awesome to work with. I love the finish, yeah. Oh, it's wonderful, wonderful work. You must come and see, actually, there's one over there. They're everywhere. That's the thing. You have to keep looking here at the Alberta Craft Council. Uh, glorious work. Thank you so much for coming to Breakfast Television. Then there's Anna, who is right behind, and what you're going to see right now is a bit of her work here. Anna, welcome to Breakfast Television. Ah, thank you very much. Good morning. Um, let me talk about you. First of all, you've set a, a place for us to sit down and eat. I have so we uh, make some of the we make this pottery west of Innisfil in the hamlet of Dixon, where we produce a whole fine line of functional pottery. Functional pottery. This is pottery you want people to have their soup out of. That's right, <laughs> and they can have their soup, and they can use it in the dishwasher too, or in the oven as well. Oh, this is great. This is when you take your, your, your home. You don't go to those box stores and you get your box plates. And this is unbelievably beautiful. The colors you get, Anna, are just wonderful. Oh, thank you. We mix up all our own glazes and at the pottery shop. And it's definitely different than your traditional white. It is definitely different. It's definitely beautiful. And I'll tell you, it's another reason to get here to the Alberta Craft Council. Celebrating artists from across our province. Do you know what a great art scene we have here? Well, if you're not aware of it, you need to come to the Alberta Craft Council and ensconce yourself here. It's wonderful. You'll spend the whole day. We'll be back. We've got news, weather, traffic, and, of course, more incredible artists that you're going to meet here at the Alberta Craft Council coming up. <laughs>